combining like terms and distributed property pre-8 worksheet. The worksheet has 20 questions, but it's actually going to be divided into three sections. So one through six is just combining like terms. Seven through nine is just the distrib distributive property. And 10 through 20 is a combination of the two. So you'll do the distributive property first, and then you'll combine like terms, just like we did in the notes. So I'm going to do one problem from each section. So for the one through six, I'm going to do number three. All right, so I've boxed my X terms and I circled my Y terms. So I'm combining like terms. So one X plus three X would be four X. One Y minus four Y would be negative three Y. And that's it for that problem. So if you want to take a moment, you can see how I boxed or underlined, circled, whatever I needed to do. Um, for five, I, there was four different types of terms, so I used a double underline. But uh, if you want to take a moment, pause your video and get the, everything boxed or underlined, if you want to do it yourself, that's perfectly fine. Okay, so that's one through six. Seven through nine is the distributive property. Seven through nine is the distributive property. I'm going to do number seven. So for number seven, I'm going to start by taking five and multiplying it times y. Five times y is five y. Then I'm going to take five times, you need to be careful here, this is a negative six. So five times negative six is negative 30. And that's all you do for seven through nine. So seven through nine is the distributive property. Take that outside term times each inside term. 10 through 20, I'll actually do uh, two different problems with you. Um, so these are two-step problems. You're going to do the distributive property first, then you're going to do combine like terms. So I'm going to start with well, first of all, for 10 through 12, notice there's only one set of parentheses. That means you're going to do the distributive property, and then like this part here, you would just bring it down. This part here, you would just bring it down. This part here, you would just bring it down. Okay? So you do the distributive property with that first set of parentheses, and then the rest of the equation you just bring down and then combine like terms. For 15, however, there are two sets of parentheses. So I'm going to do distributive property here. 8 times 2z would give me 16z. Then 8 times 3 is positive 24. Negative 1 times 6z, so that's opposite of positive 6z, is negative 6z and then negative 1 times positive 2, or the opposite of positive 2 is negative 2. All right, I'm going to box my z terms. And squiggly lines under my constant terms. All right, so 16z minus 6z would give me 10 z. And then 24 minus 2. So first of all, I did 16 minus 6 to get 10 z. And then 24 minus 2 would give me positive 22. And because it's positive 22, I put plus 22. So my answer to number 15 is 10 z plus 22. Then I'm going to do number 19 with you. See, it's a pretty big problem. 19 and 20 are, are similar. I want you to notice that, see this 4 out front? That problem, uh, there's, uh, let's see, number 16. Actually, right now, go up to 16, because you want to take this, and you're going to bring this down right away. So you're going to have 16z. And then you'll start doing the distributive property starting with the negative 3 here. 
For 17, you want to bring down this 4. So bring down the 4, and then you want to start with the distributive property with that negative 3. And 19 is the same. I've got this 4 out front that I'm not going to be doing anything with, so I'm just going to bring down the 4. And now I'm going to do the distributive property. So negative 2 times m is negative 2m. Negative 2 times negative 4 is positive 8. So again, I did negative 2 times m, and now negative 2 times negative 4 for positive 8. Negative 4 times negative 2, positive 8m. Don't forget those letters. That will mess you up at the end. Negative 4 times positive 3 is negative 12. Now I'm going to do distribute negative 1, multiply by negative 1, just means I change the signs. So the negative 9m will become positive 9m. The positive 2 will become negative 2. Negative 8 times m, negative 8m. Negative 8 times 3 negative 24. Again, distributing negative 1 just means I change the sign. So positive 6m becomes negative 6m. And then multiplying negative 1 times 5, so positive 5 becomes negative 5. All right. Now, the best part about this is we only have two different types of terms. We've got m terms and constant terms. So I'm going to box all my m terms. I'll combine all of those. And I'm going to do squiggly lines under my constant terms. OK. Now I'm ready to combine like terms. Well, if you look at this, see how I've got a positive 8m and a negative 8m? They are called opposites. So I don't even need to worry about these. I'm just going to cross them out. They cancel out. So that means now the only thing I need to combine is the negative 2, the 9, and the negative 6. So negative 2 plus 9 would be 7, and 7 minus 6 would be 1. So when I take negative 2m plus 9m minus 6m, I get 1m, which would just be m. You don't need the 1. All right, now I'm going to add up all of my constant terms. So 4 plus 8 is 12, but then 12 minus 12 would be back to 0. So in other words, those three terms would all cancel out. But then I've got negative 2 and negative 24. That would be negative 26. Negative 26 minus 5 would be negative 31. So this would be m minus 31. Now, if this, if you were doing this at home, you don't have to even worry about looking for opposites. Just put everything in your calculator. So if you were doing the uh, variable terms, you would put in negative 2 plus 8 plus 9 minus 8 minus 6. Hit enter. And then if you were doing the constant terms, you'd do 4 plus 8 minus 12, minus 2, minus 24, minus 5. And then hit enter. So that's it for 19. So that's how you would do um, what I did there is how you'd also do 20. And that's a, a longer version of uh, how you do the, what is it, 6th, no, sorry, 10th through 20. So if you have any questions on this worksheet at all, 
please do not hesitate to ask.